Good morning, Asheville. Today is Monday, November 4th. It is a fall day. I have not looked at the weather. Again, not a weatherman. Uh, business marketing, podcasting. I'm your host, Tony Ubertaccio. Uh, today, we're going to look at one more time um, because I did not publish a podcast on Friday, but I published direct to Instagram. Um, there is a new campaign in Asheville, one that I'm very uh, excited about and inspired by. And that campaign is called 1% for Asheville. All spelled out, 1% for Asheville.org. Um, and it is perhaps exactly what it sounds like. So 1% for Asheville. Let me pull it up on the screen. Uh, is a very simple website that says, in response to the devastation that Hurricane Helene brought to our community, we are businesses pledging 1% or more of sales from November and December of 2024 to relief efforts in Asheville and the Western North Carolina region. Okay, so 1% of sales, so top line 1%, which is way stronger than 1% of profits. Um, and it's, I think it's a beautiful initiative. Uh, we have all sorts of businesses. So uh, Eric Fabian of Sour House led this charge, I believe. Uh, my wife, Sarah, and a bunch of other e-commerce businesses are involved. But you have a uh, tax company, um, orthopedic, acupuncture, um, foods, all sorts. So um, what what I love about this is a couple things. Um, one is that I, my personal opinion of the best type of, um, nonprofit organization is a nonprofit sister slash sibling organization of a for-profit business. I think that when businesses, um, throw off profit, it's a net good generally. I think when that profit is used with intentionality, like the businesses here are using their profit um, or revenue, I guess, um, even better. A lot of good can be created. Um, and so the businesses that sign up for 1% for Asheville, um, there is some like rules about it. Join us. Here we go. Um, mutual aid, social PR websites. So there's going to be a lot of uh, collaboration inside of this community. There's going to be the ability to use the 1% for ABL logo on your website. Um, and then peer groups for sharing resources, all of these things. I love, I love everything about this. So, um, I mean, consider it if you're an actual based business owner, um, consider the logic as well, creating an in group, creating a compelling why having, um, having a reason to reach out to your email list, to your audience, having a reason to ask for them um, to participate in some bundles or packages or um, high value, high profit offers that you're making. All of these things are net good and can be received um, by clients and like, you know, uh, a really strong, really beautiful, really, yes, this is what I believe in. This is what I want to do. This is who I support um, type way. So it can be a net win. Um, cost nothing to participate. I'm into it. 1% all spelt out for Asheville, all spelt out, dot org to participate, um, making it in Asheville, making it creative, um, my entire entrepreneur system and, uh, one source tech brokers will all be participating in this. This is very exciting. Um, couldn't support it more. Thank you, Eric and the Sour House crew. Um, I will keep you all posted as more comes in about this project and as other initiatives stand out that um, I feel like need to be on your radar. Um, other In other news, there's a couple um, seemingly large um, milestones on the grant based side. So, uh, some of the resources I've shared in the past, um, 
uh, Visit Asheville has grant based, um, Mountain Bizworks has a grant based, and Asheville Chamber all have um, grant funding coming out. Uh, and, and the perhaps one of the more compelling updates I've heard, I believe, is that, and I will get clearer on this and tell you about it probably tomorrow, is that Asheville Chamber is, um, I think, just offering their craft or commerce program, which was already an incredible value um, for, I want to say free to Western North Carolina businesses. So um, big belief that you get what you pay for, but if you're hurting, now is a great time to take a craft or commerce course. Um, incredible list of uh, instructors in that program at an already incredible full price. Um, I just saw that announcement and I did not uh, write it down, so I'll look it up and talk about it more this week. We also have updates from from last week's um, talking session, and we will be able to share some of the um, some of the insights and so some of the requests that the community of entrepreneurs who showed up in that room uh, made. We'll be able to talk through and hopefully support those businesses. Uh, all that and more in this first week of November. But until then, uh, take care of yourself and be good to people. Thank you.